Hey, it's JT here, and I've got uh, Skipper from the weekend, Angus Sinclair. We're here 72 hours, Angus, after uh, the game on Saturday, late Saturday, early Saturday night. Yep. Um, mate, final score? Yeah, 97 to 14, I think. So, a little bit disappointing not to get the 100. But, Josh um, Kay's fault. I, that's the, the word on the street. Josh Kay dropped it right at the end. Uh, he had a chance at intercept. Not sure he would have made the, uh, <laughs> the, the 60. <laughs> he might have been on the treadmill. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but uh, it was an interesting game. 7 0, 7 all, 14 7, mm. 14 all, 21, and then the floodgates opened. Yeah, we kind of, um, you know, we knew they'd bring some emotional energy to that game, being a local derby and their, and their Ladies' Day. And. Um, we started well ourselves in attack and scored two pretty easy tries, but gave them two pretty easy ones as well. So a little bit disappointed to, to let them have that start, but from there, you know, we addressed what we needed to and put the foot on the throat and just played good footy for the next, I think it was 70 or 60 or 70 minutes after that. I've never played in a game where we've had so many points. Mm. What's it like when you literally kick off and almost score straight away? How do you stay focused? Um, it was just sticking to our process. Like we've we've changed a few things in our in our attack, and it was good to be able to you know get a lot of ball and, and play, and especially with Harry um, Bury coming in at twelve and playing that second ball playing role, um, it's good to get some reps in there together. So now that was a real difference I felt when I was watching, particularly our first twenty minutes, having the two ball players. Mm. Is that an advantage at the moment? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, so we, you, you still miss me, right? But. What's it, that? You still miss E Ray, but well, it, yeah. it's a different sort of game plan that you play when he's at 12. Yeah, I and mean, I think we'll see what happens. But if he comes back this week, hopefully we get him back. He might even go into 13 and and um, keep Harry at 12 and playing that role because um, he, he makes my job so much easier. And I think we function really well together. So, yeah. And, like, from your side of things, what about the forwards? What? How did they play? Um, George Miller again, just hanging off the edge, making yards. Yeah, Georgie's on fire. Isn't he? We talked about him last time. <laughs> yeah. How good. Um, but yeah, I mean, probably the first two tries, we weren't happy. They scored around our ruck defence. So yeah. that was, they got a bit of a razz behind the post after after that second one. And um, But no, we they were hitting some really good lines, like Connor Vest and, and, and Dave Henaway were yeah. punching through the middle really well together. Um, and then the guys that were playing out, out wider, like Georgie and um, Taylor Francis, had really big games and they're, they're really stepped up and playing good first grade footy. Yeah. For, for young guys coming in, anybody watching, if you haven't been along to watch the, the new back row at North, they're doing a great job, aren't they? Mm, 100%. Um, obviously, a few injuries, and think about the last two years, we would have had Hugh and Will as mainstays. Yeah. Um, and then Wellesley and, and, and Smithy as well, who. Yeah, Very true. experienced true. players, yeah. so big, um, big shoes to f to fill. But Taylor, you know, spent a fair bit of time in first grade last year, and I think this year, you know, he's really playing good footy. And and George is fresh and keen to keen to run out, run out of the shadows of, yeah. the, of the king and just be the prince. Yeah, and, and then obviously Gary, you know, does oh, what Gary does, does every job. single week. You know, just Mister Reliable why does, and just keeps why does working. he wear that? That crush helmet. Why does he wear the headgear when he's got such a beautiful head? I don't know head? what Gary's thinking a lot of the time, JT. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Now, this weekend, South, down there. Mm. Um, we've won almost the last three, four years we've gone down there, whether it be club or semis. Yeah, no, we've, we've lost during the year. But we win there. the semis. We, we've been them in the semi twice in a row down there. Um, th yeah, always a hard place to play. Yeah. You know, one of the most consistent teams from the last four or five years is definitely South, so huge challenge again this weekend. Um, and can you give any insight on maybe some players that are coming in or coming out this week, or are you not sure yet? Not sure yet. I think um, depending on injury at the Tars, hopefully we'll get e -Rai back. Um, we didn't have any injuries from the weekend? Not that I'm aware of, no. Um, Kelly's going back to, to Fiji for the June test, so he, he won't be around. So he's, next... he's our big loose head prop? Yeah, he won't be around for the next four weeks, but um, hopefully hopefully footy, Lawrence Hunting's back, back. Yep. Um, which straight away plugs that hole. Um, yeah, great. Other than that, not sure yet. We'll find out more on Thursday. And when we score so many tries, there was a rumour that the water boy was taking it upon himself to give you kicking instructions. Is that true? Wolfie. <laughs> Uh, more just, more just giving me a spray every time I missed one. Was that a water spray or was that just no, a spray? No, like a verbal spray. Under his, he was under his breath the first couple. Of, I, I heard it, so I was, yeah. 
fired back at him when I when I kicked one, I think. Well, I guess it's yeah. nice when you're that far in front not to worry too much, but yeah. Wolfie, no more. Mm. Yeah, and a bit of heat on Wolfie. You know, the wingers are playing really good footy, aren't they? So it could well, be hard Ed, for him to get back into Ed's that number 14. Four tries? Yeah, exactly, in his, in his number 14 jersey. So, um, yeah, oh, Wolfie might be back this week. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Awesome. Well, thanks, uh, Lockie, for coming. Uh, <laughs> oh, I was about to say Lockie Cray. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> thanks, Gus, for coming on. Yeah. Um, it's great that you make yourself available for everybody to hear your thoughts on the game. No um, Four Shaw's a long way, but I'm sure you'd love everybody yeah, to come down. Yeah, yeah, come down. We, um, they're always, always loud and vocal. They have their DJ on the hill there, so uh, yeah. it'd be good to get some Norse guys. I think it's DJ Smuggler there on the hill. <laughs> on so the hill. Good and to get some Norse, Norse supporters down there. Colts are playing at Bon Andrews, so if you exactly. can't get all the way to Four Shaw, then come up to Bon Andrews. 100%. Thanks, Gussie. No worries. Enjoy training. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>